What the flip is you up? You kind of remind me of my dad. Who left? You think you can just come right back? You think that you're just, we're mm -hmm. just gonna move yeah. on? You left me. I knew this was coming. Bring it on. You told us in the last video that you were gonna post in a few days. And guess what? It's been a month. Okay. Okay. You're kind of a slut. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and a whore. Keep going. Just keep going. You're a clown. But not the funny you ones. Like the me. one from It. Oh. Yeah, okay. that's you. And a hag. Okay, enough is enough. I understand. I get it. We're mad. You're mad. And annoyed. You're annoyed. Um, you're the worst. I'm the worst. And you're a slut. I completely get it. I can't even imagine how frustrated you guys are. Those of you who have been waiting. It's been a month now, I think, since my last video. And in my last video, I literally said at the end, guys, there's a vlog coming in a few days and it's crazy. I like really hyped that shit up. I'll be honest with you. I have no idea why I hyped it up so much. I think I, I was just riding off of the adrenaline of this last video because this last video was so crazy that I hadn't started editing the actual vlog yet. But in my brain, I just assumed that my vlog footage was just as crazy, just as wild, thrilling, if you will. Like this story that I told, you know what I'm saying? But to be honest, <laughs> I was watching the vlog footage. Like nothing that crazy happened. Um, and I'm such a perfectionist with my videos and my editing. I was really stressing myself out with this vlog. I'm like, how am I gonna make this one crazy? You know, but it's really just not that crazy. It's really like not, <laughs> it's really not that crazy. Um, I was in a hippie town alone for a week. There's not much wild things happening around in that town. Besides murders, someone did comment that on my last video saying <laughs> that there's like murders and shit. Um, I did not get murdered. I did not witness a murder. So that's good. Another reason why I was putting it off is just because that week of my life was a very dark period, sweetheart. Really going through it mentally and emotionally. That's why I went into the woods in the first place. Um, I'm in such a good place right now. Thank God. So it's been really hard to kind of just go through that footage and put it together. Um, I'm editing my own videos again, so I gotta edit everything. And I went on this solo trip to feel out my emotions and kind of figure out where my head was at, where my heart was at. And I didn't go on this trip to film a vlog. I, I wasn't even planning on filming anything. But then at the same time, I, I was just like, I'll, I'll like film some things because I would really love you guys to see this. I stayed at some really cute places and I just wanted y'all to be a part of it in some way. Y'all are like my little fam. So little fam, <laughs> there's so many of you. So I really tried not to put a lot of pressure on myself while I was there to like get crazy content. I was just kind of just going with the flow. So all of that to say, I don't know why I feel like I always need to explain myself. Like who cares, bitch, just roll the tape. Um, Y'all literally comment on my stuff and you're like, sir, we don't care. You can just sit down and eat a hot dog for 20 minutes and we'll watch you. And I know that, but still, I just wanna give you guys the best of the best. This video isn't that extravagant. It's really not that crazy, but it's cute and it's chill. It's very, laid back, actually not really. But yeah, I hope that you enjoy it. I'm not gonna edit it all crazy because this is just like an actual sliver of my life with no crazy craziness. Just come along with me on this trip, have fun. Just, just have, let, let's have a good time. <laughs> I went hiking at the end. That was the hardest shit I've ever done in my life. But it's funny, the hiking segment, oh my God. Um, Wait a second, I can't show you this vlog footage on an empty stomach. What am I gonna do? Oh, that's right. 
Today's video is sponsored by HelloFresh. With HelloFresh, you get fresh, pre-proportioned ingredients and seasonal recipes delivered right to your doorstep. Count on HelloFresh to make home cooking easy, fun, and affordable. That's why it's America's number one meal kit. Hey! Are you tired of setting unrealistic New Year's resolutions? Because I am. This year, do things differently and regain control over your food choices with HelloFresh. HelloFresh offers so many recipes to choose from each week to help you break out of your recipe rut, okay? HelloFresh offers a wide variety of quick and easy recipes, including 20-minute meals, easy cleanup, and low prep options. HelloFresh's pre-proportioned ingredients means that there's less prep for you and less wasted food, people. I love using HelloFresh. It's super easy and it's honestly really fun. Cooking usually stresses me out. There's just too many moving parts going on. Since all of the ingredients are in one bag for each recipe, it's super easy for me to learn and it helps me not use any of those delivery apps and spend money that way. You guys gotta go to HelloFresh.com and use Sarabasca16 for up to 16 free free meals and three surprise gifts. Everybody do that, use my promo code, and let's get cooking. Good looking. <laughs> All right, no, but let's get back into the video. Thank you so much, Sarah. Wow. So just pretend it's the next morning after the crazy shit happened to me. If you guys haven't watched my last video, just pause this right now, open up a new tab, and watch the video that I posted before this. Yeah, like I said, <laughs> why can't I just fucking get to the point? Oh my God. So here's the cabin. I'm shutting up now. Bye bye. <laughs> God.
have to go because he's okay, yeah. for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was so great talking to you. And I'll send you the link to my calendar because maybe we can fit something in tomorrow and we can continue this. Yeah, I would love that. Okay. There's just so much too. more to talk about, but I love you and I'm so proud of you and I love your house. It's so beautiful. Thank you. I love you too. All right. Okay, sweetheart. Bye. Love you. Love Bye. you too. Bye. That was great. That was great. Oh, and there's a rainbow because of my suitcase. Oh my God, look how cute that is. Oh my God, that's so pretty. That's a sign from the universe or God or whomever. I just got done talking with Joy. If you didn't hear, you definitely did. But I have my laptop. I don't even know where my makeup right now, sweetheart. Sweetie. What's going on here? What? How did I not blend that? This is, I've never done this in my life. Oh my God, it's so much tanner than my, okay, whatever. I'm beautiful! So I'm in a random coffee shop in the middle of God knows where. I have no idea where I am. I'm in a forest and this is the only town on this mountain. This is the only civilization that I have. Could I live somewhere like this forever? Hell no. But I would love to have enough money in the future. No, no, no. I will have enough money, universe. So I can buy like a little cabin here maybe. I really like this town. I vibe with it, it's cute. It's small, but like not too small, you know? There's like a supermarket, so many breweries, tea places, and there's like a little shopping center. Should I just drive around? Let me just fucking show you. And it's popping today, and it's so pretty today, y'all. This morning, I had to check out of my beautiful cabin, and I miss it so much already. I don't wanna go back to LA! I feel like what I set out here to do is still not done, you know? And I feel like I'm not spiritually ready to go back to, you know, my everyday routine. And I'm vibing out here in this nature, y'all. But Joy was just telling me too, because I haven't talked to Joy in over like a month and a half just because she's been moving. And she just moved into the cutest beach town and she lives so close to the ocean. She was showing me new, her new house. You look out the window, there's the ocean! And she told me how much she was paying for it. That's not as much as I'm paying for my shitty little, it's not shitty. My apartment, my, my apartment's not shitty. It's just in, <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm literally recording. <laughs> I'm like, come here. <laughs> I'm like in the middle of nowhere. Give me a oh, hug. Can I totally get a picture of you? <laughs> yeah. Of course. Of course. Oh, like, like, sorry. Like, like, oh my god, you're so sweet. Oh, I, thought I thought you fell. Oh shoot, I don't have a mask. I'm sorry. Is that okay? okay? It's okay. It's okay. I'm vaccinated. I'm vaccinated. Give me a hug. What's your name? It's Jaden. Yes. Do you live here? No, I live in Riverside. That is so funny that he saw me. I was like, oh my gosh, she's pretty. Then I was like, is that Sarah Vasca? I just had a Zoom session with my life coach. Oh, yeah. <laughs> thank you for like everything. Like, have a great time thank while you're you. here. Thank I'll you. I'll probably see you around again. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Love you too. That was so cute. <laughs> It's so random, dude. Like, if y'all knew where I was, I, I was just talking about how I'm literally in the middle of nowhere. That's the funniest fucking shit. She was so cute. And sorry I didn't have a mask. I like, I have a mask, but I have so much shit in this car. Um, but I'm double vaxxed and so is she. I can't even imagine what she's thinking and going through right now. <laughs> like, She's literally here, here on a random trip as well. I'm not even kidding you guys. The only thing near me is this highway and this coffee shop and this like tiny little auto part shop. I should go to that auto parts shop. 
I'm gonna make a mental note that it's right there. Cool. So that was really cute. If you're watching this, I love you. But I think I'm just gonna like drive around as I was saying. Yeah, I just don't wanna leave. Like even that interaction that I just had, like everyone here is so sweet even though she doesn't even live here. I think definitely in my 30s at some point, I want to live in a random town like this. I just want to be able to go get my hair cut by the same bitch that's cutting everyone's hair in town. Even though, okay, I grew up in a small town, but that shit's different because I grew up with these people. I want to go to a small town where I can start new, Nobody knows me. Nobody knows all of the awkward preteen decisions that I ever made in seventh grade. I'm already in the city. That took literally two minutes. Okay, I'm gonna flip the camera. Okay, so to your right, that's the only market in town. <laughs> There's a little sushi place. Um, I don't really, oh fuck. I did not mean to go this far. Oh, here's a Bible church. Where life and the Bible meet. Where? Okay, isn't this so pretty, you guys? I'm just not used to this shit, bitch. Okay, so I'm entering back into the city. <laughs> so, oh, what the fuck are you doing, lady? What the f I had the right, what the fuck are you doing? Or, oh, wait, she definitely did have the right of way. That was a stop sign on my part, and she didn't have one. My bad random American flag. I have no idea what's going on there. But this is the other part, y'all. See, we got some like gift shops. Um, I think that's a bar and some like breakfast place or, oh yeah, there's a little gift shop, little tea house. This is pretty damn cute. I wanna see the high school, you know? Look at those mountains, bitch. Wait, I really wanna kinda shop around. There's a jerky place. Oh my God, the movie theater is so small. Oh, this is really fresh. Oh my God. This guy behind me is a fucking asshole. Sorry I'm admiring your city, fuckface. You could have gone into the left lane and passed me. No one was coming. Anyway, okay. Yo, look at this fence. Can't really see it, can you? Okay, I'm being so annoying right now to every local that lives here. This looks like the Breaking Bad house. You can't even really see it. There's like tarp over it. It looks like they're making math. You know what I'm gonna do? I low-key just wanna walk around and get hammered. <laughs> but I can't, because I'm driving. Like, I just want to walk around, get hammered, and just talk to randos. What's so great about Idy Wild? Is it really as wild as you people make it? Oh, wait, is this it? No, that's 243. Where the fuck am I going? Oh my god, I'm at the Bible church again! Okay, I gotta turn around somehow. Please pass me. Sorry! I'm a tourist! Leave me alone! And I'm a Taurus. We're slow! With no sense of direction, apparently! No, but like, this is not my fault. I genuinely like, don't have service. Ow! Your Mate just splashed in my eye. Uh, oh, I found it! Yes! This is it. Fuck yes. I knew I could do it. 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 Park. This is cute. This is quaint. I'm really liking these vibes right now. Yeah, this is cute. Very close together. So you're probably wondering, Sarah, why are you still in Idy Wild? Okay. Ooh, that lighting is so nice. Um, I'm in Idy Wild. Is that even how you say it? Idle Wild. Idle Whittly Wild. Whatever the fuck. Fuck Wild because I didn't want to go back to LA. And I tried to add a couple more days to my cabin that I was staying at, but it's booked. And so I went back on Airbnb and I found another cabin. I guess these, hey girly, I guess 
right now for some reason everything is pretty booked up everywhere but i did find this one nice cabin it really wasn't that expensive it was super nice and i booked it and i'm an idiot and i didn't even check the day that I booked it for. And apparently the only day that it was available is for Friday the 12th, after I already paid and booked it, thinking that it was gonna be for today, Thursday the 11th. And so I'm like, fuck, I mean, I already paid for it. And I do wanna stay at this place because it's cute. And I still wanna stay in the mountains. I'm like a mountain girl, I'm vibing. Um, so I was like, fuck, what? Where am I gonna sleep tonight? <laughs> like, where am I gonna sleep tonight? I have nowhere to sleep tonight. I'm getting kicked out of my first cabin. This is such like stupid issues to have. But where the fuck am I gonna sleep? So I just went on Expedia and I found this place. And it looks cute. I'm only staying here for one night. I'm leaving tomorrow then staying in another cabin in Idy Wild. What the fuck? I'm Stan. I'm a stan of this town. Call me a wilder. Idy Wild Nation, baby. Fuck Tube Nation. This is Idy Wild Nation. I wanna look, how, how do you actually pronounce that? I think it's Idle. Idle Wild. Idle Wild. I don't like that, I like Idy Wild. Idle Wild? Idle Wild. Okay, I need, I need to check in. I don't even know where the office is. Maybe this is where I'm gonna find my soulmate. I, I say that just because I just watched a hot guy go into one of the rooms. Is there like a restaurant or like a bar here? Or are these just cabins? Like what's the vibe? Are these just cabins? If there was like a cute little cabin bar, I could just go over there, meet some hotties. I don't, oh God. It sucks I'm so far away from the town. That's all right. I have to go to the bathroom so fucking bad. I gotta go to the grocery store again. I'm nervous. No, I'm not. I got mostly an Elon Musk here for emotional support. I'm loving this solo adventure. I don't even know what the fuck is going on. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know who I am. I like wanna put on some hiking boots or some shit and hike this mountain. Can't even... Whoa! Oh my god, that scared the shit out of me. The reflection up here, I can't really see because the sun, but it looked like that was a mountain all the way up there. And I was like, what? That's tripping me out badly. A mountain in the sky, just floating. This is a cute community in the sun. You know, I'm kind of scared about what goes down here at night. I feel like I'm on, um, like Bates Motel or some shit. It's like the exact same layout as Bates Motel. All the rooms are just right next to each other in a line. In the middle of nowhere too, bitch. I'm literally, I'm on the highway. That's all right, this will be fun. Right, Moosley. Hey, don't be negative. What is on your face? Oh my God. Are you starting puberty? Look at his chin hair. What are these beard hairs? Moosley, what the fuck? You're growing a beard since when? You're like six. Maybe it's the Portuguese in you. And they're gray. How old are you? Do you age faster than humans? I don't understand. You're so, oh my God, ew, I need to wash him. Ew, you have dandruff. What is this shit? What? I just washed you. Does Elon have them too? Shh. He doesn't have them. Ew, Moosley, what the fuck? I need to get you some head and shoulders. Look at the dandruff, can you see it? Sorry, Moosley. That was probably humiliating for you. I definitely feel like someone's watching me in the window because I'm literally parked right in front of the windows. So I should go in and check into my room and see what this party's all about. I want to meet a hottie named Brody. <laughs> Maybe a Landon or a Lawrence or a Jeremiah. Tyrese. 
Okay, I'm going inside. Check in. Okay, under what name? Uh, Sarah Basca. Okay, but right here, you're all set. Sweet. One. Oh, nice. One. Okay, so I need a signature there and here, babes. Cool. And have you been here to Iowa before? I have never been here ever. You haven't? No. Oh my God, a newbie. I love <laughs> I know. I'm giving you a map so you don't get lost. Okay, per and that's I'm what I need. Visitor's <laughs> guide that's got all the restaurants and all the places you need to go. Amazing. But, you know, you need to go to the brew pub because they make their own beer, like 13 different kinds. You've got to try the chocolate because they dip. Oh, they do everything. So it's you and your mom. It's me by myself. Oh, by <laughs> I'm on a solo trip. In the morning, I bring you a, a fish basket. No fish though. Uh, it has, it has <laughs> what? Yeah, it has oatmeal. It's got fruit and juice and fresh scones That's from the bakery. That's so nice. And so I'll knock on your door, or Karen will, because she'll be here tomorrow. Karen would like this, and we'll just put it on your doorknob, and then you can come in your jammies, and we won't see you. <gasps> Thank you so much. This oh, is so yeah. cute. Yeah, no, no. And we even had the drag queens coming up from um, Cathedral City. Yes. With their headdresses. Uh, and I go, you made that, and I go, well, of course, you know, and I'm like. God, you know, Wait. I'm looking at it. Oh, it's so fun. There's a lot of higher consciousness. There's a lot of divine feminine up here. It's very strong. Mm -hmm. We have meditations. We have all kinds of stuff. Wow, I can feel just the good energy just being it here. It is. Well, we're connected with Sedona and Shasta. Right. You know, how I got up here is really weird because we had always been coming up here, my husband and I, even when we were dating. We'll be married 40 years next year. Oh, congrats. So we've been coming up here for a long time. And it was just like, I really love it up there. And so we used to go to the spiritualist church down in Anaheim called oh, cool. Learning Light okay. Foundation. What kind of... It's a spiritual... Well, it's funny because they have all different things. You can do anything from ear waxing to psychic readings to learn how to do this and that. They have wow. Dr. Emoto, the water doctor. Did you ever see the one where he freezes water slides? And they actually put, like, love or you know some wonderful affirmation on totally. the bottle of water they freeze it and then take a slide of it and the, it has like snowflake it looks like the designs Whoa. And, then if you, and so he did this experiment so then he did something like hate or whatever on it and how it was all fractured when they Whoa. froze it and they took a slide of it so it's like all, different energies and emotions yeah, yeah. so that's what it, emotions that sounds and amazing oh it's amazing and so they're they're changing the acidity of this lake in japan by doing affirmations to it. Whoa! So it's really, Dr. Emoto, was, he was crazy. He had an interpreter when he was lecturing because we couldn't like understand because he spoke mostly Japanese. So I took yoga there. I did psychic readings. We did fairy tales. Like what are the real meanings? You know, because always truth in fairy tales. Totally. The whole thing of Joseph Campbell. Like the, the psychology. Yeah. yeah no, it was amazing. I And you could go there and just completely feel safe about dipping your toe in. Well, what's that? Oh, and it's not like a followed religion. No. So you don't have to like follow any rules. It's no. just for like so no, and the psychic fairs, you can go have a reading. I love that. It was so fabulous. Do they do like tarot and oh, stuff like that? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's amazing. I like. I'm gonna go into my room and like write all this oh, shit no, down. It's, it's just crazy. And up here, there's so many women that are just amazing. One girl, Karina. I remember we were at some spiritual workout thing, and it was like you know we're doing meditation all stuff. And she walked in the room. I'd never met her before. Walked in the room. And I just looked at her and I started laughing. And she's laughing. She goes, "You're here." And I said, "You're here." We knew each other, so we know that we are from. Actually, Whoa. we were priestesses in Glastonbury. In your past life. Yes. What? One of the ones in Glastonbury. Oh yeah. No, Lady of the Lake. And you just, you both, we both know. And I said, do you remember, do you remember the parties, the Beltrane parties under the sacred, the sacred oaks? And she goes, I do. Yeah, no, we. How do you, I mean, I'm sure it's like a lot of spiritual practice to tap into that, into past is, lives, but. I, I just know. And then the weirdest thing, I don't know. I just read a book called Anna, the Grandmother of Jesus. Oh, okay. Like 10 years old. But the Essenes, now that's the tribe he was with, or that Jesus came from. This, right? right. The Essenes were how should I say, interdimensional beings. Okay. They could cheat life. They could not age. They could stop their breathing. They could resurrect. They could heal others. I mean, this whole thing, and this is channeled through someone. Okay. okay. And this book just blew my doors off because they were talking about coming from um, Atlantis. Oh, and this is so interesting is that they, a lot of things they got right, a lot of things they didn't go into because nobody understood them. You had to be part of their group to go into oh, these initiations. Okay. So they went to the sacred and mystery schools in Egypt. So they were in the Temple of Isis. Whoa. Oh, it's it's mind blowing. You're putting me on to so much stuff right now. Wait, what is that called? Anna, the mother of Jesus? Grandmother. Grandmother of Jesus. Anna, she was Mary's mother. 
And Whoa! She lived to be 600 something years old, and she's buried in Glastonbury. And that's a fact. Like Anna was well, Mary's. Anna was, her, was his grandma. I never really thought no, about and, no, the family is, history of Jesus. Like, who are these people? And like he adopted three kids, and he had another wife when he was in India. What? And Wait, this is blowing my mind. This is blowing my mind. So Mary, she had him as an enlightened. She had Jesus as an enlightened being. That means she, she didn't have sex with Jesus. They it was put into her. Right. That's what I'm saying. That's because like, so virgin. Yes. I, I so grew like, up in the Christian. I went oh, to a yeah, Christian school my whole life. And then I became a happy pagan. But no, anyway, <laughs> yeah. so she ended up going to get Glastonbury, and they started a group of healing women called the Magdalens. Right, and right. All through Europe, healing people. And she's the one who went there to find, found it. You know, she founded it. What the fuck? That's crazy. That's what I'm I never, ever, ever thought no. about researching no. Jesus's grant and like no. how the heck? Because like no. growing up, it was just so normalized that Mary just got pregnant out of nowhere and like everyone thought she was a slut. And she was like, I swear I'm a virgin. And as a kid going to a Christian school, I'm yes. listening to all of these pastors yes. just say it normally. Yeah, but I'm like, his yeah. Mother, his mother, the, be the Jesus was the enlightened being that they were bringing to earth to put the codes into our DNA to be enlightened. Whoa. So that's why he was brought into human form is to bring the code into the human race to be enlightened. So because we're, of course, we're being, you know, we're all, we're not going up physically like a rapture thing. Right. We're being enlightened. And so we are, the consciousness is, is be, yes. So we can be accepted in the rest of the universe because planets are waiting for us. The Palladians are waiting for us. The Arturians are waiting for us. All these people who help see. Oh my God, girl. What? Yeah. It's called Stargate. Okay. Okay. Do you want YouTube? Okay. It's called Stargate. So it's just like the movie. Okay. But what happens is that they take you to other dimensions in the, Meditation. That yeah. makes sense because okay. meditations, because I meditate, yeah. meditations this, do take this you. This meditation was different. I mean, Whoa. I went out of the third dimension, went to the fifth, the seventh, all the enlightened and the, uh, I mean, the angels came through, the Elohim came through, Anna came through. Um, what? You Buddha, saw Anna or felt Anna? Oh, yeah, Buddha, uh, Lord Buddha. There was all these, and they were all, um, you know, masters. Right. They all came through. So, anyway, um, it's, it was really weird because I didn't know I was crying. I mean, I, tears were running down my face, and I, that's how I felt. It was like, what? Oh, how long were you meditating for to get to that place? Like, oh, okay. Oh, okay. But people were called in, and you just, you just knew, or you were just emotional. We Whoa. got to the 12th dimension. So, basically, we go up to the void, the source. Okay. So, where there's nothing but nothing, but you're in a bubble, you're safe, you know, all this stuff and everything. Totally. And we were doing this when my husband and I were sitting there. It was the beginning of the year. It was for New Year's, whatever. And so, we were doing this thing. And all of a sudden, this Arturian, I only know because I looked to see, because he looked kind of, Almost like like a lizard, but he had like some fur. It was like very animal kind of thing. Did you see this when you're this, oh, oh, like yeah, just like no, an image of it? But he came around like this and looked at me and said, "No, she's okay." And I was just like, "What? What the hell was that?" Was that? I mean, I wasn't I wasn't scared, but I was right. Surprised. But he came around just to check on me. But no, she's okay. Because like spirit, God, do you no. believe that's like a spirit guide? Yeah, because yeah, they're yeah. like, especially when people do like DMT or you know psychedelic drugs, and they can get access to those entities, they always say every time that they're not scary. I'm, I'm vaccinated and I got boosted and I had, so you can... Okay. <laughs> I'm literally going to sit there. Right, yeah. <laughs> this, this is so... so, this is so, so you're about February, I actually got, because I just read this book and now I'm reading about the Magdalene's. Okay. There's a second book. Are they, are they just, you know, in a different realm or are there some still here? No, they're here. They've gone through the initiations. They've gone through the secret schools in, in, in Egypt and done all this stuff. So they're enlightened beings, but they're still in the third dimension. So they're still real, but they've got where they can actually, you know, by locate. They can go to another place. So where? Why can't they come to America? <laughs> we need help. They, they could be around. Us. <laughs> yeah. It's you. Know? I'm like, oh <laughs> shit. Yeah. I'm yeah. talking yeah. to yeah. one. Yeah. There's just a group of women that come in. <laughs> they're recruiting me. I'm like, okay. I'm like, sure. <laughs> why not? <laughs> That's so cool. Up here, that we had at least thirty people that go meditate once a month. And last time we did the hummingbird, it's because the hummingbird is hummingbird energy. So okay. we drink cacao. Okay. And she brewed cacao for us, and she puts in like lavender essential oils in it. Love and that. Like a separate kind of thing. And then we do meditations, and they play the singing bowls and the drums, oh, and she chants and everything. Because trying, she's a real shaman. She lives up here. She's a friend of mine, oh, and she's amazing. I mean, amazing. Anyway, I mean, she's done everything. She's like the frog. She's gone all over the world. Oh my gosh. Yeah, yeah, she's so cool. Anyway, so she does this whole thing, and we do it for like two hours. And the hummingbird, because when they flap their wings, they do a figure eight, the sign of infinity. And so they right. show, they show basically the you know, spirituality every day, in the every day. I'm about to Why? tonight. I'm gonna have so much fun on YouTube. Right. <laughs> I'm here at 5:30. Yeah. Right. I'll okay. probably be back. All right, cool. Circle back. Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much. Nice Thank meeting you. you. Oh, perfect. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome, honey bunch. <laughs> what a delight. What a delight. That was the most fantastic interaction I've ever had. Bro.
love. I fucking love. I don't. I need wild. I don't. Dude, this place is. This place is lit. Everybody here is so nice. What the fuck? I wish. Oh my god. I wish so badly that you guys could actually see this woman. I didn't want to like ask her to be on camera or anything i wish you guys could have seen this majestic woman like i want to be her friend dude she was so awesome she has so much like wacky knowledge about crazy facts like I didn't, i've never ever in my life ha i've never thought about jesus well i have <laughs> I've never thought about Jesus. No, but like I've never thought about who who was in Jesus's family history. Like who's Jesus's grandma? Like what was her shit about? I just want you. <laughs> I wish you guys could have seen that, dude. It was like this very cute, homey, comfortable office and it was all decorated, all cute. And she had to have been like in her 60s. Um, or like late 50s, she's like this older woman, crystal earrings, like a crystal necklace, just these hippie vibes. The most adorable woman I've ever seen. She was so petite and just so smiley and so welcoming. Y'all, y'all heard that? And she was sitting behind the desk at first and then two chairs in front of the desk. I was just standing because I just thought I was just gonna go in and out, get my keys and I'm in my cabin. She came, she got up out of her seat and she walked around and she's literally like, the, I, I wanna, she was on her knees, like a little, like a little kid. She was on her knees like this on the chair and I'm standing right in front of her. She's on her knees and she's just like, and she was kneeling like that in that chair the entire time we were talking. We were talking for like 20 minutes. I wanted to talk to this lady, but I could sit and talk to this bitch for hours. That shit was so interesting to me. You know, obviously I have to fact check and research some of the things that she says. Like, I'm, I'm not going to believe all of that shit right away, but that's those were very interesting concepts and topics that I will research. I just wanted to keep talking to her. Bitch, I don't know anybody here. I'm on my own. Right when she asked me like, so you're with your mom? Like thinking that my mom's in the car. I was like, no, I'm by myself. That's when she like really was like, okay, we're hanging out then. And then I, I genuinely, in my head, I was like, oh, I, I just want to hang out here till the sun goes down. It's four. The sun will go down in an hour. And so I, I was like, I'm, can I sit? And she was like, yeah. And so then I sit. The only reason why we stopped talking is because someone came in to check in to a room. Like if nobody came in, we would still be in there. She, she probably would have poured me a glass of wine or some shit, dude. She was, <laughs> I loved her. That made my whole day. And the fact that it's 11 11 today which is like a very magical day i'm feeling that magic like <laughs> honestly besides getting lost on my way to this cabin everything else fucking swell i think i want to go out on the town but she did say like a lot of the things close at five on the weekdays and it's 4 12. But then she said, Friday nights are lit. And I'm gonna be here tomorrow night too. Cause I have that other cabin I'm staying at. And she makes oatmeal for everybody in the morning. She brings oatmeal. Y'all, that's the cutest shit. You know how I said like, oh, this is giving me Bates Motel vibes. No, it's not. This is the most friendly, welcoming place. Maybe I just don't really get out that much and I live in LA, but like, what? I'm just not used to that. I'm in this phase where I just wanna hang out with like old hippie ladies, just older hippie ladies. That's what I'm trying to find in my friendships these days. <laughs> just older hippie ladies. I love people who are curious. 
about weird shit, about like random shit that I never ever even thought to put, like it's never came across my head. And then I just love, I just love how passionate she was. Even if everything that she's saying isn't a fact, <laughs> like, I still thought that was so interesting. It's really hard for me to like want, <laughs> this is gonna sound so bad. It's really hard for me to want to like hang out outside in the day with people. I don't know why, I used to not be like this, but as I get older, I just love doing my little tasks by myself during the day. So I don't have to like talk to anybody <laughs> and I can just talk to myself. And then at nighttime when the sun goes down, I wanna hang out with people. And it's not even one of those things where it's like, I can only hang out with people if I'm lit when the sun's down. Like, I don't know why, like for some reason, hanging out with people during the day really like makes me anxious. I would hang out with that bitch. I would love to go shopping with that bitch. I would love to have coffee with that bitch. I would go to brunch with that bitch. I, I don't, I'm not a brunch gal. Like I said, I just, I just don't. I'm, I, I'm trying, okay? I think after the breakup, I think that I was just like so dependent on my ex. I would just like do everything during the day with him. I'm starting to realize this now. Um, and so now that I'm single, I'm like just trying to figure out how to make really solid connections with people that are on my frequency, you know? And I do have that. I have that in my life. I don't know, I feel like I, I don't have a lot of people around me that are making me like curious and like, you know what I'm saying? But that's just because everyone around me is my age and everybody's just like stressed and they don't know what the fuck they're doing with their lives. And they're all just trying to also figure it out. That's what I'm saying is I want to be friends with older hippies. Like, I just want to hang out with that bitch. I want to hang out with Stevie Nicks. I want to hang out. Like, literally my life coach, Joy, I talk to her all the fucking time. The wisdom. It's nice. It's interesting. Because I know that they've lived a life. And I'm just ignorant in my early 20s just like and like these older witchy bitches they've seen some shit they felt some shit they've gone through it i want i just want i just need to be around witchy women older women <laughs> and i'm gonna do that i'm like a spiritual person myself and like everything that she was saying made sense to me. I feel like for a lot of people, the concepts of consciousness and different realms and meditation and how it can take you into different levels of consciousness, like uh, that sounds crazy to some people just cause they've never experienced it or they haven't done it enough to tap into that. But me being a spiritual person, I, I that wasn't crazy to me. Like I know that you can get to that level. Like I have friends that have seen entities when they do certain psychedelic drugs, like it's a thing. And she didn't even do psychedelic drugs. She just did a hour and 30 minute meditation with her husband. And I know that that shit's real, man. I've been hanging out with Brittany a lot lately, Brittany Broski. She's actually the one that told me to come here because she stayed at that cabin the first cabin i was at she went on a social media detox for a week so thank you Brittany, for putting me on to this cute ass town like what the fuck Brittany's on her spiritual shit too i i feel it from her christelle's a witchy bitch and i'm not saying witch like we're fucking riding broomsticks bitch that rhymed oh my god that's a that's a bar um I just want to like have little get togethers where we write down like our insecurities and things that we want to let go and we all go around and we like write it down and then we have like a bonfire. This is sounding culty. I was going to say, or like a fireplace or some shit and then you like throw it in the fire. 
and then do some meditation. I like want that so bad. But my sister does that type of shit with her witchy friends. I usually do my spiritual shit in my own space, but having like others on that same frequency would be a vibe. We could do like a sound bowl bath. Ooh, that bitch just got me thinking. Like I feel like my third eye just broke a blood vessel. And also I just haven't slept. So feeling a little bit manic. And I, I'm, I feel just really happy, I think. <laughs> Whoa. I feel, <laughs> I feel happy. And what's funny is I felt happy this morning before I even met her, but her energy just really, I, I think meeting uh, the girl at that random coffee shop, first of all, just talking to my life coach, Joy, made me happy. And then immediately after, that girl came up to me that made me like and then this this is a great day bitch and i'm glad that i captured it okay i've been sitting in front of my cabin for a very long time and so oh my god i can't believe she gave me a map wait okay before i go in i just want to like I, I need to go in i need to go in if i don't go in now i'm never gonna go in all right guys we're gonna do a second cabin tour. Where the fuck did I put those keys, man? Oh, they're under my butt. I can't believe that I'm cabin number one. Out of all, there's like, what, 30 cabins? I'm cabin number one? I feel like God is finally listening to me. I feel good things coming. Um, Whatever, I'm gonna check it out. Okay. Come along. I don't think I'm gonna bring all of my shit inside, but maybe I should, cause I have really expensive equipment. Oh, what a blessing that I don't have to go up those stairs with all that heavy shit. My door is just right there. Oh, that's so nice. I can't be blasting my music like I did in the last cabin because I got neighbors. I wanna like fucking, let's have a potluck neighbors. <laughs> Come on down to apartment one. Bring your own beer, bring your own food, and let's have a fiesta. <laughs> Everybody here's nice. Okay. I think you guys are just witnessing a legit quarter life crisis about like. I hate where I live. <laughs> I also live just like not in a good part of LA, so. I just wanna be in nature, man. Even if it's just by the ocean. Like, God, I can't wait. I just gotta grind it out in LA right now. And then I'm gonna live this fantasy. <laughs> what the fuck am I talking about? Okay, I'm going inside. Okay. Um, why am I like, I'm like the anticipation's killing me. Like what's gonna be inside? Let's get it, boys. <laughs> I'm just gonna bring Moosley because you're too large right now. And you need my you need my help. I gotta give you a bath. <laughs> Are you hot? Maybe I'm just horny. <laughs> Why did I just turn my car back on? I'm getting out now. Let's go. Oh my god, I'm excited. Okay, let's go. Definitely gonna bring my journal. My books. I'll come back out here if I need other shit. Ooh, and my vibey lights. Oh my gosh. Yas. And my candles. This is an entire backpack just filled with vibey lights. What? And this entire backpack is filled with candles. What? No, I am not a light packer. I bring my entire home with me. There's still like two suitcases that I have and there's three other backpacks filled with shit. I don't even know. I think it's just a comfort thing. <laughs> okay, we're going in. So this is my little house. 
Those are the little chairs. I have so much shit in my hands. <gasps> Cute! Shut the fuck up. You're lying. Put my bags down. Oh. This is so cute. Oh my gosh. There's a little like bunk bed. Wait, this is really cute. Kind of obsessed with this. Lights don't turn on though. Oh, yeah, they do. Oh. Hello? Why? Hello? Oh, <laughs> am I an idiot? <gasps> Shut the fuck up, there's a kitchen? Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm closing this. Oh, sorry, mostly. Um, okay, this is so cute. I'm gonna turn this one on now. That was literally all I had to do. This is so cute. Oh my God, my own little kitchen. Shut up, I have a little balcony. You're lying. Oh my God, stop it right now. This is, this is the cutest thing I've ever seen. And there's lights, they have vibey lights, bitch. You're kidding, this is so fucking adorable. Bro, what? This is so magical. The colors. Oh my god. How do you turn the lights on? Let's figure that out. Huh? Is there like a switch? Oh, I think it I think it goes around the entire building. Do I dare peek around? Oh yeah, it does. Okay, I think they come on on my- That's really cute! I think it, they probably come on when the sun goes down. I love this! I love this! And I literally booked this place last night on accident. I don't even want to go to the other place. I like this place better. Okay. Is there a light in here? It's kind of dark. Oh wait, yeah, there is. Turn on the lights in here, baby. And there's a fridge and a microwave. I didn't have a microwave in the last cabin. That's amazing news. So I'll hit up the store. I have a little sink. That's my little sink. It's my little kitchen. I could, I could live here. And there's a TV, bitch. Let's fucking get it. Oh, let's see the bathroom. Wait, what's this door? Oh, it's a closet. Cute. Little bathroom action. Oh my god, this is so cute. So tiny. Aww. Let's see the shower. Cute. Pretty standard. You know, I like I like this better. Honestly. This feels more humbling and safe. I really want to explore up here so i don't know how to like film me going up this but whatever ouch i feel like beneath though my cat string string okay this is so fucking cute oh i can't wait to put my little lights up here are there outlets up here? Where's the fan coming from? Oh, is the outlet all the way fucking down there? That's okay. There's a sock. What else is up? Ew, there's like, is there jizz? Okay. This is so freaking adorable. I'm loving it. Okay, I'm going. Okay, this is kind of scary. How am I gonna do this? First, I'm gonna take my shoes off. Woo! Oh, that was loud. Whee! Okay. Oh, God. This. 
This looks bad. Okay. Ouch. I just hit my head on the fan. Okay, it's fine. Okay, just one step at a time. Dude, I'm so high up. These stairs are sketch. I could slip and die. But you know what? That's not gonna happen. Okay. Are those candies? Shut up. Oh, <laughs> they're earplugs. Wait, love that. If you want to keep them, period. I didn't even really think about that. We are right next to a highway. That could be a little annoying. But, oh my god, I fucking love this place. I'm gonna turn my flash off. Okay, what the fuck can I do here? I wanna be crazy. I wanna do something wild. Something idle wild. I'm gonna close these. Okay. 